it's hard to know what to do first to the show. Don't drink two cups of coffee before you start tonight, or else you're not going to make any sense whatsoever for anybody. Yeah. Sorry about that. Sorry about the first half an hour. (laughs) Apparently I snorted cocaine or something. I don't know. That's what two cups of um, Green Mountain coffee does to you right before the show. Okay, those are like big-ass cups of coffee. Yeah. I mean, that wasn't like overly a lot of caffeine. I think one small cup of the Death Wish actually has more. We have that coming today. Uh Uh-huh. Yeah, I looked to see if it was here. It's not here yet. Because that's all I need is more coffee. <laughs> no, but I like to see what happens to you. I will die. <laughs> okay. Do you have anything you want to talk about? Am I allowed to speak today? Yeah. I'm just curious. It was weird this morning. Like, you left with Dad to go take the car down. Mm-hmm. The girls were off to school. I was here by myself. It's like super dark outside. It's pouring rain. It's cold, and I'm just here. It's like the Bjorn song. It's all so quiet. <laughs> all so I kind of felt like a desperate housewife. Which one? I don't know. Which one did you like the most? <laughs> I don't remember. The Mexican. <laughs> Ava Longoria. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Did you just call her the Mexican? Well, why else is she? I don't, I don't know. Yeah, so yeah. I bet she... Well, she's south of the border. What do you want me to call her? I think, Taco she, I think she was born here, actually. Was she? Yeah, yeah, she was born in Texas. Well, there we go. So she's basically Mexican. She's American. But she's from Texas. So she's I'm from Texas. Texas. Am I Mexican? Yeah. I'm <laughs> a hot Latino wife. <laughs> I don't understand, like, the difference I know between. you don't. I know. She, she always has to uh, apologise. So you liked her the most? I think she was probably... I'm trying to think. It is yeah. raining hard. Huh? It is raining hard. Somebody just said it's raining hard. Yeah. Yeah. It's... It, yeah. Right. I, I'm a... Cali- we are currently living in a California's wet dream. <laughs> yeah. We, we really are. <laughs> the, the, this is... Yes, it is raining really hard in Maine right now. Yes, our driveway is flooded. Yeah. Uh... I'm pleased we have a basement because it means that can fill up with water first before the house floods. <laughs> it's not oh. that bad outside. Oh, yeah. It's pretty bad outside. Apparently all the coastal stuff's getting a lashing. Yeah, we should go down to the... Because the, literally, the ocean is... Uh, we could walk to it, but hey, we're American. So if we drive around the corner, <laughs> we can... Uh, yeah, I mean, the ocean... We're it like takes right three on minutes to walk to it. I know, but 30 seconds in a car. And as you know... The difference between 30 seconds and 3 minutes is a long time. Don't you know that, honey? Oh, I know that. Mm-hmm. I don't really know what 30 seconds is. You do. But... <laughs> you call it foreplay. I call it full-on sex. <laughs> That's the difference. That's not 30 seconds. Including foreplay. It's actually <laughs> sock That's mm, like 20 seconds. Socks. Mm, the sock gap. Oh, that just made me think of pink sock. Please, don't say those words together. I wonder if that looks like a tail. Ew. Well, I don't know how far it came out. Ew. So you felt like a desperate housewife. I did. I didn't know what to do. It was like nobody was here. So that's it's why very you were strange. looking in the medicine cabinet. You were trying to find Xanax. You were like, I need to do this for... I, apparently, I must have do something. Yeah, I never, I never liked Terry Hatcher in the housewives thing. I never liked her. Yeah, no. She was always too. You just needed to like smack her hard. I'm not. I'm not for hitting women, but there's a few. Even though they're women, probably should be punched at some point in their life. Like who? I can't think of any right now. Oh, besides Terry Hatcher. <laughs> yeah, she's okay. She just. I don't know. She just looks really. I know this is gonna sound hypocritical. She looks really high maintenance, and I know I've just said how I like Eva Long Gory, that that's the definition of high maintenance. Yeah. Although technically she likes pizza and ordering it from the couch. She's in the new Domino's or who, whatever you can order now with an app and you can order it on Twitter oh. even. Well, I think you can order it on like Xbox and stuff. You just have to yeah, go like whatever. pizza. I'm just like, yeah, shit. you sit there. I, <laughs> you, okay, so you're, how do I say this correctly? Southern American? Texan. Oh, Okay. No, is but her how? body type is a... She's a... Latino. Latina. Okay, pizza is not your friend if you're a Latino. Okay, let's be honest here, okay? 
Okay, basically what you do, if you eat pizza, you take the slices and you stick them to your thighs. <laughs> and you, they never go away. So if you, over your lifetime, have 400 pizzas, you can pretty much say that you have 400 slices of pizza that we can visibly see on you. So I'm going to hazard a guess that she doesn't eat pizza ever. Probably because not. she fits. She fits what? I don't know. No, 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 no. I'm curious. She fits what? No, I, I, I was being kind of, you know, street Jamaican slang. She's fit. <laughs> oh, hang on. That's not Jamaican. Is that with a PH? Yeah. <laughs> Is that how they spell it? No. P-H-I-T. I don't know. Fit. Maybe. She's fit, isn't she? That's kind of like South London, like Brixton, Jamaican slang. No, that's not a word. Okay. No, but the word fit. Apparently it is in the Urban Dictionary, but I don't think anybody's ever really spelled it like that regularly. Well, the fact is people that use the words that are in Urban Dictionary can't spell. <laughs> I was going to say, did you use my hand. Not? I do raise my hand. <laughs> I know, I was, uh, when I came in from the, um, no, there's, there's a poll to this. <laughs> when I came. Are we still talking about Ava Longoria? <laughs> Are we still talking about Ava Longoria? Ava what? Ava Longoria. Ava Longoria. I bet that's what she was known in college. Uh, it's Ava Longoria. <laughs> <laughs> that's better than being called Taco Bell. So, no, when I, came, when I came back this morning after dropping my baby off at the garage that we eventually found, because we found a cool garage that actually deals with... I'm talking about my Audi... I'm talking about the S4 that's like just the most awesome car ever. Unless I can convince Dad to sell to his son with his S5. Then that would be the most awesome car ever. It's already yours when he dies. He's going to live forever. I know, he probably is. Yeah, he's like Superman. <laughs> um, I, came, I walk back in and there's jazz playing. I immediately, I immediately like just lit up a cigarette and <laughs> sat on the sofa and went <sighs> nice <sighs> it was bizarre I don't even smoke and I didn't even know I had cigarettes on me it was bizarre why were you playing jazz I don't know it was just it, it's just it was, it was a neat. day for it it was lovely I actually felt like I walked into a culturally enhanced house you did you guys were all gone no, I, so it was able to be like that <laughs> Packed. It was, it was bizarre. Yeah, I mean, it was nice. I walked in. It was like there was a the the, the lights were off. Yeah. Um, but there was a candle lit. Yeah. You know that was making the house smell nice. Mm -hmm. I walked in. It's like do do. It's what the house can be like when there's nobody else here. It's really fantastic. Do da da. I'm still doing jazz. Da ba da ba. Do 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 do. <laughs> it was. I just wanted to sit down and start smoking a cigarette. It's relaxing, and right? And having a glass of wine and going, yeah. Well, I sat down with coffee and was working to that today in a nice dark house when it's pouring rain and it's cold. And I'm just sitting here by myself going, what the fuck? Uh, Marcus is going to see a Stevie Ray Vaughan cover band tonight he's really excited about. Cool. That's awesome. Please don't ask me to talk when I've got stuff in my mouth. <laughs> I got a really chewy so, so I didn't I didn't know this. Uh, Leonard just said that fat, P H A T. Mm -hmm. I didn't know what it stood for. I mm -hmm. knew what it meant, but mm -hmm. it actually stands for pretty hot and tempting. Wow, well, that's it's weird because Because I used to do when I was DJ and I'd be like, I'm laying down some more fat tunes for you tonight. <laughs> yeah, this is Fat Steve laying the fat tunes. Roll me another fat one. So you've been Fat Steve, and now mm. you're Black Steve. And I'm occasionally fat, I'm you're black, and I ain't going Steve. back. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm doing. Can you talk a minute? I need to take another bite. I need something to absorb the caffeine. <laughs> I said Robin is fat. <laughs> you find my wife fat! <laughs> No, I seriously, don't, you I don't have to talk. I'm, 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 hey, uh, Marcus says Chris Tucker used that in Money Talks. I don't even know what that means. 
is Chris Tucker, a singer. Is he black? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Tell them, tell them why you got that. <laughs> okay, so I have absolutely no idea. <laughs> I'm looking at Steve. He's got a mouthful of like of his like protein bar. <laughs> and he like covers over his face with his hands. Like me, me, me. <laughs> And I was like, I'm a black Steve. <laughs> That's what you listen to the show for, for me to eat. If it gets rid of your caffeine-ness, then good. <laughs> Keep chewing those peanuts. I was going to say, could you not have got me something else? I'm sorry, I had like one minute, you're like, I need food, I need food now. You have to manage the deck, so I ran downstairs. I have like a minute between songs. Oh, oh, that, my was the, <laughs> that was the best option. Granted, it wasn't a good option. Oh, it's like I've just eaten out Aunt Jemima. <laughs> you doing okay there? Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. Wow, bloody hell. Oh, so you were a desperate housewife. This I was morning. a desperate housewife this morning, listening to jazz. The house was all nice. It's fantastic. I actually am gonna go do that when we finish the show. I'm gonna go turn it back on, whether you like it or not. You like it. Why are you still eating? I'm going on furniture. <laughs> your your show as well. I, I'm aware. <laughs> You're the first name in the title. You should be doing all. Well, the that's talking. because Stephen Jane doesn't sound good. Sounds like a children's program. And now on BBC One, the Stephen Jane Show. Hi everybody, welcome today! <laughs> today, we're going to be learning about circles, yay! And how you can make them with your cocaine, no! Okay, speaking of cocaine, mm -hmm. <laughs> now I've got something for you. In Mexico, <laughs> two people died mm -hmm. due to cocaine. Not what you would think. They were driving. I think they were on a. They were. Cra they crashed their car. They had had their bricks of cocaine, mm -hmm. and they put them in the airbags. Oh, that's smart. Stupid ass motherfuckers mm -hmm. didn't turn off the airbag deployment before they filled them with bricks of cocaine. They found fifty five pounds of cocaine. Basically, both people died because the airbags deployed with the cocaine bricks in them. Smashed into their faces. On the plus side, the cars were washed, waxed, and detailed <laughs> there at the crime scene. <laughs> I gotta get this done before I die! Seriously. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> you need to pull out one fuse. I, I know, I know. It that's like That's almost like Mother Nature kind of stepped in and went. As Governor Steve, <laughs> I will bring back executions, not for criminals. I will bring them back for stupid people. We need to be hanging and crucifying more stupid people. You can't do that. Why? Because I don't even think that's legal for starters. Okay. Bear with me on this one. Oh, God. Now, you're... You have the average person mm -hmm. who works hard... Hey, who works hard, uh -huh. then you have criminals that we lock up, put to death. I have never seen a lazy criminal, ever. I've seen lazy workers. I've never seen a lazy criminal. Right. I've never... Okay, there are stupid criminals, but here's the cool part. Like the cocaine if, ones. If yeah. they're stupid criminals, mm -hmm. they die. Real yeah. fast. Mm -hmm. So my view is all the criminals that haven't killed themselves, we probably need to let them run some businesses. Because they're clearly enterprising. Mm -hmm. And the only reason they got caught was because it was illegal. But if you make it legal, then they wouldn't be in prison. So I say, let all the criminals out of prison. Right? Mm -hmm. Legalize all crime. Okay. Okay? Right? And kill the stupid people. I don't think we should be, like, you know... That's capitalist at its finest. But you're, like, creating this, like, mass genocide thing. Uh -huh. Most criminals won't kill people if you just give them what they want. Isn't that a better way to do business? I want that now. I don't want to die. Fair trade. 
I think, Governor Steve, I think my first thing would be that. Bring back the hanging for stupid people. If you sue anybody because of your stupid actions, mm -hmm. like, I spilled coffee on... Like the woman who went to Dunkin' Donuts, tripped over a curb, spilled coffee over herself, That's and sued I Dunkin' know. Donuts. That's worse than the lady who McDonald's coffee. who should be at least in prison. Mm -hmm. What are you in for? Oh, five years. What for? Stupidity. <laughs> Wouldn't that be so much better? You have an entire prison full of stupid people? That would be awesome! <laughs> It'd be cool. They would be able to produce TV shows. They would be able to probably just... We could just turn mics on in there and have entertainment all day. Can you imagine that many oh, people? Yeah. It would be hilarious. And then the rest of the world would be run by people that actually could run it. On the plus side, it would like, you know, you could also do like a pay-per-view idea mm -hmm. for like Maybe. reality prison. You know, forget Honestly, Orange I is think, the New Black. I think the only law should be against stupidity. But he killed him! Right. That's not illegal. But he killed him with a large comedy hammer. That was stupid because it made a noise which attracted attention. So he's going to jail for using a comedy hammer that made noises. Like I said, so um, Steve wants to make the purge a reality, except instead of 12 hours, it's all the time. Governor Steve, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. Uh -huh. <laughs> I support the purge. <laughs> that is why you cannot become governor. Or anything powerful. Ever. I could. I think people would like me. Clearly America wants something different. Would, you, would you vote for Steve? Honestly, would you actually vote for Steve? I would allow s strip clubs within school districts. <laughs> Well, all dads are going to be dropping their kids off. I seriously, morning. all Scott High School should have them because teenage boys need that kind of outlet. <laughs> they really do. At least they can have like a lunch special. Yeah. Like school dinner lunch. I would legalize prostitution without a shadow of a doubt. I would actually, I, I would, I would actually, you, you could probably, uh, yeah, I would actually, now here's the thing. I would actually get rid of benefits. 100%. Sounds controversial, but it's not. Okay. I'll bite. All businesses, if you want your... <sighs> your what? Marcus says he's thinking about moving to Maine so he can run the campaign. Yes! <laughs> Me and you, Marcus. And I need Lucky Leo in on this. I need Lucky Leo as the... I, I need him as the muscle of all of this. I need him to go around and attract votes for me. Ah, uh, I hear you're not voting the way you should do. You'll be voting for Governor Steve, right? Because we can't guarantee your safety if you don't. <laughs> and, I, and, and luckily, Leo's good advice. And he just life. said he'd vote for you too. See, I I don't think I'd vote for you. You haven't heard my my okay my, okay my carry plan. on okay what's your plan? My okay number one. God, did I ask this? The police will have new powers. I will, I will remove all their... Pr if you have a car that's over $60,000, you can drive any speed you want. Okay? So I'd get rid of all highway police, but I would have the slow police. Okay? When you're being basically a retard on the roads, like driving too slow, like if you're doing under 90, they'll pull you over. Okay? That's number one. Secondly, regular town cops, I would take away all their powers and I would introduce one power that they have. The arrest of stupidity. If you spill your coffee and want to sue someone, A, you won't get to court, but they'll arrest you. Okay. And whatever you're going to sue for, that is what your punishment would be. Hence, the lady with um, Dunkin' Donuts, mm -hmm. who sued them, she will have five years of having coffee tipped over her. Every day. By a Dunkin' Donuts employee. <laughs> the Dunkin' Donuts employee, right... Used to be on benefits, but doesn't get them anymore. And her job, so she gets money, is she has to go to the prison and tip coffee over the woman who tried to sue. We put a camera up there and we charge $10 a month for anybody to, tri to stream in. We will fund, the Maine will become <laughs> the richest and we'll take over Texas. We'll be Maine will be like, 
Oh, you got Texas oil. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. We got pay-per-view. Yeah. <laughs> pay-per-view prisons. Mm. Child molesters? No cutting things off. Uh-uh. No, 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 no. There is a product on the market called a fucking machine. We will <laughs> strap their hands to their ankles and we will place the fucking machine behind said paedophile. Ten bucks a month, you can tune in whenever you want and watch it. Again, funding our system. Maine will become so rich, it'll be like the Hamptons everywhere. Nobody, I mean, nobody in Maine will be earning under a million bucks. They'll be like, well, what, what's your hourly wage? Hourly wage? We don't work on that. <laughs> So, so what's the medium income? Ah, uh, the two and a half million dollar house? Yeah, pay-per-view. Main. <laughs> pay-per-view. PPV. That's what should happen. Oh. Wow, I actually didn't know that I still had music playing. I, was, I could hear something in my ears, and I was like, the hell is that? And I thought, oh... I could, there was something, maybe Dad's TV was on or something, and then, then I looked down at the play, and it... <laughs> well, do you remember the other day I was playing the Superman thing? Yes, I, I, I remember. I remember. So, so yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Jeez. Now, bear in mind, everybody, uh -huh. my fellow voters... Please bear in mind that I came up with all those things on the fly. Can you imagine if I sat down and worked this shit out? Seriously, Trump's got nothing on me. Plus, I'm always right. <laughs> like Trump. I have bad back hair, which partly is like Trump. He just has bad hair. I have bad back hair. Yeah, you do. Never trust a man that uses that much hairspray. Saying, I don't need hairspray. My back hair's all natural. <laughs> Ew. Okay, good. It's not playing anymore. Um, Jeez. Oh, nothing. Governor Steve. Wow. I really like that. Never have two cups of coffee before show again. No, I'm not. I'm not. But no. Seriously, Governor Steve. That's awesome. Oh, no, no, no. It gets even better. I could literally just be called the governor. Now, how badass is that now? And that's how people... people and, and, and now on the TV, we'd like to welcome the governor. Uh-uh. I'd have to have my own announcer, and he'd be a South London big fucker, come up and go, Nah, the governor. See? i just walk on and... Yeah! Oh, hang on, I can even do this. <laughs> oh, my God. Marcus! <laughs> God damn you! Good afternoon, Maine! <laughs> Can I get a whoop whoop? <laughs> See, the problem with this <laughs> is you're laughing! And, and you're already imagining all this. I am! Already I am, I'm just... Oh my god. Yeah. See, they can't hear this on Periscope. He's playing crowd cheering. Uh-huh. Hello, Maine! You people want to get rich? I give you rich. I give you PPV. Oh my god. Oh my god. That would be so awesome. <sighs> Governor Steve. I, I, great things are afoot. <sighs> give up. So what would you do with people like Bill Gates and stuff like that. The really rich people. Warren Buffett. Let them keep their money. Okay. I don't know. There's enough to go around. And if there isn't, I'll just print more. <laughs> I could have gone out on that one. I know. I don't know. I, I, no, I'm all for people being rich. I, I like the idea of sp spreading wealth around, but here's the thing. So you could be like Robin Hood? Mm, no. Okay. I don't like people stealing from me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I would be more... The governor. 
variety of figure. There is no description for me. There's no description ever for you. How would you describe Steve now that he's running for political office? The governor. <laughs> there you go. I'll do that. 